Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to show you something that comes up every once in a while and I thought I'd record it. And that is when your dashboard has no data to display. Um, this comes up a lot in our demo environments, but it may actually happen in your environment. The root cause of the issue is some jobs aren't running. These jobs, this performance analytics stuff has these daily and historical jobs that have to run. And so you may run across a dashboard like this for the IT manager. Um, you see no data to display, no data to display, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to show you how to troubleshoot this. Let's click on incident because um, I think this is a really good example. Let's take a look at this one in the upper left. Average cost per incident weekly, right? So how do you go about troubleshooting this? What I want you to do, make sure you have permission, you're an admin. Go ahead and configure the dashboard and then hover over the widget and click the pencil icon. Basically, you're saying I want to edit this content. And when you do that, this is what you want to look for. What indicator is making up that thing on the dashboard, that graphic that has no data display? So now we have an indicator, and we can see average cost per resolved incident weekly is the indicator, right? So let's open that indicator, and in that indicator, we're going to see there's other indicators that make up the indicator, right? So there's like a, a recursive relationship here between some of these, and those other indicators are cost of incidents resolved and number of incidents resolved, okay? So now we have a sense of of, okay, we need these three things to run, right? So number of incident, cost of incidents, and the average cost per resolved incidents. So now let's head over to uh, performance analytics. So just search for performance analytics in your menu, and you're going to look for scheduled jobs. If you come down here to data collector jobs, um, that's going to give a whole list of it. Now these are organized in these little groups, at least in my instance. Um, my, every instance might vary depending on who set it up, how they set it up. But let's see, we were looking at incident, right? Let's just search for incident, and we should see that I have a couple of jobs around incident. PA, incident historic, SLA historic, uh, and daily. I'm going to go ahead and run this historic data collection for PA incident, all right? And this is in my PDI, right? So I'm not in production. We're going to execute this, and it's going to go back and look at the previous 60 days, and it's going to update all of these indicators. And one of those indicators was one that we were just looking at, number of resolved incidents, um, which was making up one. But notice I don't have that cost one that was showing up there. So let's come back out. That's actually running and doing its thing. We can actually keep up and watch it here. If I just hit refresh, we'll see that it's running and collecting everything. But now we need one that had cost in there. So let's just search for cost. And I see there's a fixed cost daily data collection. And in there is going to be the cost of incidents resolved, which is what you know I was looking for. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one. And uh, I wish there was a historical one on this one, actually, not just the daily one. Um, let's see. That contained cost of incidents resolved and cost of requests completed. Uh, is there no historic one there? So it's PA fixed cost. Let's go back here and see if there's a PA fix fixed cost. There's just that one. Um, man, I wish there was a historical one. Let's just get rid of everything and see if I... There's 191 of them, so I'm not going to be able to scan through this and see really quick. Um, but if I search... Oh, I know. I got an idea. Let's search for cost again and see... Oh, that's in the global application, so that's not going to help me either. Okay, let's go ahead and run this one. Um, and we'll update those. Execute now. And that should be running. So now I've got two of them kind of running. And uh, let's go to uh, back to the incident one that we had there and see if it's done its updates yet, if it's finished. Sometimes these can take a while, sometimes, the, especially the historical ones. Uh, so this is the one that we actually ran. And job logs, it's still collecting. So I will fast forward on the video and show you the results here in a minute. Okay, so real quick, while I was waiting, I hopped into an indicator, and I was like, surely there's a way to find which jobs, and of course there is. So I'm looking at the indicator of number of resolved incidents, and we can see that's in two jobs. One of them I've already run, the historic data collection, or is still running, and then the incident daily, daily collection. So really, I need that cost one um, that we were looking at. So I'm going to go back here. Um, I'm looking at all the indicators in the system. Um, I was looking at average cost per resolved incident, and let's see the cost of incidents resolved. If I open up that indicator, we should see the jobs that it belongs to. And I think it was showing just, uh, I was just able to find that fixed cost daily job. And um, if I'm right, I think that that's the only job that runs. There's no historical one that, when I clicked on there. So if I go to jobs, yeah, it's just this pick fixed cost daily collection, which I already have run or it's executing right now. So there's no other job that is part of. So 
lesson there, if you were looking at an indicator um, in performance analytics, just scroll to the bottom and you can see. And this is already collected, so now we're just waiting on the other one. So let's go back to... All right, that got collected. Uh, shortened up. I'll shorten up the video there for you. So let's head back to um, the dashboards, and we should see some of those updated. Now I was focusing on incident. Obviously, the dashboard has a lot more going on there um, than just incident, but we should see a couple of them light up now if we were successful at troubleshooting and running those. Now, while I'm pulling this up, one of the things that I did, what you may not have noticed, is that they were set to um, uh, on demand. So basically, you have to go in and run these manually. So if um, if you're in production or you're doing this regularly, you may want to actually go set those to update on a schedule. Um, here we go, one actually updated mean time to resolve. Must have been one of those, but incident was the one I was focused on, this upper left-hand corner. And you can see now that that average cost per incident has finally updated. It doesn't say no data available anymore. We've got zero zeros in there, which is, uh, which is better than no data available. So we accomplished our goal. We've got some data in there. And now hopefully you know how to better troubleshoot your performance analytics indicators and looking at those jobs to, to find those and get them running or run them once so you have some data in there. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in getting rid of no data to display on their dashboards. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.